What's up everyone? I'm back at the Glendale Toy Show. It's about to start raining, so I'm gonna head down there and go in. There's already a line for me. So hopefully they let us in before the rain comes. Uh, but this show was awesome. I was here in August 2023. It's a great show. Hopefully we could find some great stuff here today. Take home for the collection. Let's go. We are in. We're in the Glendale Toy Show. They let us in early because it's starting to rain outside. A lot of the vendors still barely stand up, as you can see here. They got drapes over their things, but that's cool. Mickey Mouse phone. So I can spend it with you. I'm right here. We're gonna walk around and see what we can find. So a lot of aisles, a lot of vendors. It says so early, a lot of people still setting up their tables. 20 bucks for these guys. 10. Got some books. It's cool. I like I like these old school books. Get them from time to time. I'm here with my friends, Mario and Vince. Looks like they're already looking at some stuff. Yeah, Joe. Nice. Look at this one, Joe. That one's cool. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you, sir. What is your name? Vince. We heard you were going to be here. Yeah, you heard it. Death Star play set. Do you like toys, sir? Oh, it's time to get rid of toys. Nice. Vince, you got that? All right. My first purchase already. I almost proud that I did it. Joe's. I don't know that it came with an O-ring. Then the plushies. A bunch of randomness right here. A bunch of cool randomness. Universal Monsters. What you looking at right now? Huh? Pretty sweet. Um, it's die cast, that's one reason why I turned on. This guy had some good stuff last time. Did he? It's pretty dope. <clears throat> what do you do? How much on both? 150 for both. 150 for both. Like mice. Yeah, I'll do I can keep them here if you yeah, want. Yeah, Vance is already. Vance is going down already. Sounds good, bro. Sixties robots. We got some bootleg figures on here. Some bootleg wrestlers. Star mint in the box. Uh, Lucy, she mad as hell. Looks really cool. Uh, 
We got a whole the bunch paper of in that stack is five each. And Batman, but still, it has. Talking about those are there? Yeah, when he's going through the okay. five each. Mr. T. There's two of them. Nice. Yeah, this one's cool too. I can't remember. Yeah, Mario checking out some no, got it for you. puzzles. What else is down there? Some a bunch of old TV show books. It's gotta be. Yeah. How much? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. That was nice. Life, old life magazine. He said five bucks, everything on that pile. Emergency. Later. Tony and Marie. Pretty cool. Right next to that, we got a bin here, a bunch of loose figures. Got Panther. There's a sector right there. The He Man. This would be good for a custom. My Little Ponies, like the flocked, flocked one. These flocked ones are harder to find. But I love all these advertisement toys here, like Big Boy, got Fred Flintstone. All right, those busters, vinyl, instrumental. Raiders. It's a creepy guy right there. It's cool. Barney. This booth has a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, check this out, guys. This is the original creepy crawlers. Spider-Man, that's cool. Cool man Jewelry set. Oh yeah, that's freaking awesome. Full cool, Mark has one of those. That one at Now or Never Comics. Full cool Huh? Now or Never Comics had one. Yeah. It's kind of expensive though. I think it wanted 350 for it. Yeah, you know, sounds about right. But it was clean though. You can use that line with small clothes? I don't. The mosquito or? What is that? Ghostbusters. That thing's freaking cool. What's up? What's up? How are you? Good. Perfect. Everything good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good too, man. Killing it. What are you busting for? Nothing? Nah, it's just uh, some things from these guys. Secret Wars stuff. Oh, no, Nothing I big. I found this yesterday in another one. Did you? Yeah. Over here. It's crazy. Yeah. I've never seen that big one like that. Yeah, it's hard to find with the, with the package. The package. Yeah. It's pretty hard dope. Yeah, that's a cool mad ball, huge. This is a pristine arts booth. He always has the crazy Japanese stuff. Yeah. That is, huh? OP, 79. Dude, last time you scored some um, toxic potato figures on over here. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Damn. Those are good ones. 
Yeah. I mean, it's better not because you have to spend money. Yeah, well, I still get it. I still get it. Grab something from you. <laughs> Is this, is this like, is this like the Jumbosaurus, or is it like there's still Godzilla? Or you got this Freddy. <laughs> Freddy Cougar is awesome. Ah, okay. Maddie Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh shit! Did you sell that Frankenstein? Oh yeah! Check out all these cool stuff. Check out these masks. These are cool, these old Universal Monsters. Dragon Wagon. That's some good stuff over here. The Mario, showed, uh, Mario Brothers. When you showed Party Turtles in your last video, I was like, oh, let's see if he shows up. <laughs> I bought some uh, Shogun, the Shogun <laughs> ones. I usually try not to buy carded stuff. Right. Uh, There's certain stuff space. that speaks to you, yep. Yeah, yeah. and then, no, you know. I'm an opener, I'm, I'm the same way. And then if the price is right, you know, I'm like, yep. ah. Yep. I can't say no. You got some good stuff. That Freddy Krueger is awesome. Okay, we got that crane. The, the mini crane. Shredder. She got bins full of stuff. Transformers. Another one of these Toxic Crusader guys. Shout out 50. What do you guys think? 50 is pretty good. I think that's a good price. Two fighters. Really got to dig here in these bins. Find all the good stuff. If you're into Bucky, you've got the dog store there, too, with his guns. Oh, that's cool. Spider-Man on the bike. Awesome. You still got a booth there? Uh, not currently. Months. Now I got one at a uh, Toy Depot, the new Whittier location. Oh, okay. Which I think I saw you haven't hit up yet. I haven't hit up. I need you, to check it out. You need to check it out. It's a good variety. Isn't it? I had that at the trip. Has those. Brutus. There's a Spider Man. Put a bayonet on the end of it. Wars. Kang. I'm gonna probably ask about these, these guys. Are you? Yeah. He's, he's already put it in the bag. Alright, appreciate it. Hey, that do come back yet? That do come back? Uh, okay, okay. Alright. Let's just dig in, dig in, dig in. Let's see what else we can find. Looking. A bunch of secret war stuff down here is cool.
<laughs> Yo, Vince found this cool vintage Joe poster. That's it's dope. 87. It already framed up. It was nice, huh? Yeah, I might get that. That's pretty cool. What's the yeah. other one? Yeah. There's more? Yep. More G.I. Joe? That's dope, too. Yeah, it's from the magazine. Dreadnoughts. The artwork on the 80s toys is just can't beat it. Yeah. This is well, too. That's like wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? Yeah. Gift wrap. This is dope, though. I like oh, this. Those are good finds right there. Yeah. Uh, this is Astro Bay Zero. This is his booth right here. There's the man right there. Vince is over here trying to make some more deals. But this is booth. He has a lot of great stuff. Still looking around. Got the silver hot glasses. I basically got here and the people were ready to go. And I missed this the first time. The Mario Brothers belt. We got the Barbie Ferrari. And the, they got all, all these are Barbie Ferraris. Howdy Doody. Stuff on Nightmares. There's another one of those Ferraris. A bunch of ET stuff here. We got that Nickelodeon iconic phone. I've seen this before. I remember I saw it one time at a thrift store and I passed up on it. It was a bad move. That's a cool thing. Got some cool Looney Tunes items. California Raisins as well. Getting down. Getting down. That's pretty cool. The gumball machine. See you over here. Look at this old thing. It's Humpty Dumpty. Same, these are these old ones that Mattel made these. Before Playmates got a hold of Simpsons, Mattel was making these. 35. I think that's actually a pretty good price. 35 bucks for these guys. The original Simpsons toys. These are cool. Star Trek. 25. We got a whole bunch of them. A lot of Captain Kirk's. Oh, here is the good stuff right here. Vintage Star Wars. A bunch of carded figures. Real good. Imperial Dignitary. Leave some of those guys loose. Love all the antique stuff they have at this show, like these salt and pepper shakers, mammy. But these are huge. They're like five inches tall, like an action figure. I've never seen those before. Those are nice.
that's a trick, you know. How do you get through the shows? Yeah. Seal Star Trek VHS. It's real similar to all the size of the show. There's a cool seven up. Thermometer. That's cool. Oh, look at this awesome. Flying saucer. That's so cool. See this big. Any other space stuff like that? Uh, not that's not, not Star Trek. Okay. What's up, man? How you doing, bud? We're good. We're back at it again, huh? Yep. We love the punishments. Yeah, there you go. Got those Beatles. Cool. So, so lower than one. Right, this booth has some awesome stuff over here. Let's get a closer look. We got some cops and crooks figures. Cardi Turtles, look at Savage Leo, look at that. And some bulky O'Hare. There's a Beetlejuice. Here's two. A couple blue legs. That one's low. He's coming back. You know Martin. Super Shredder, 40 bucks, not bad. Toxic Crusaders. Low man on Martin's legs. He knows we'll always be here. Yeah. Oh, look at the Cyber Turtles. Look at that. You can see with the glare. These are a target right now, the remakes, the retros of these are a target right now. This is the original one right here. Get your pizza points as well. This place right here is awesome by Tonka. $100, but man, look, look at all these vehicles you get. A Batwing, Batmobile, Joker helicopter, some Gotham City police cars. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. But they also got like this crazy vintage stuff over here. Like check out the visible head. Five seventy five. This is like a store display. This is nuts. Yeah, this booth looks like they have a bunch of cool stuff. Like things that we're into. Look around here. Look at this. Captain America. These are the ones from the cups. For five bucks, maybe. Francis. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, these old books. How about this? Nice. Mario, right here. Came down with us. <laughs> Bought this cool little sign. Oh, HMV sign. Well, go right next to my record player. Nice, right, that's perfect. Cool color. This booth has a lot of really cool little items right here. There's all these books. 
I might get these. Here's some socks. Go look around some more. There's lots of toys on here. on the stage of the auditorium where they got lots of really old antique items they got here photos you can see photos here these are crazy <laughs> some of the antique things they have here Freaking awesome. Look at that. I think it's like an ashtray. That's cool. We've got a lot of good stuff here. The old calendar from 19 from 1892. Look at that. Superheroes light up drawing desk. time today at the Glendale Toy Show. The official name of the show is the All-American Collectors Advertisement Showcase, something like that. I was trying to remember the full name. I, just, I can't. I just call it the Glendale Toy Show. I'll put a logo here with the official name, uh, but it was a great show. Uh, went up there with my friends Vince and Mario. It was pouring down rain, but that didn't stop us from making the trip from San Diego to get some toy hunting done. Uh, it was fun. It was a fun show. I uh, believe they enjoyed it themselves and they definitely want to be back. Uh, there's another one in August. It happens twice a year. I want to thank everybody that came up to me and said they watch my videos. Uh, thanks again for all the support. Uh, if you see me out there, just stop me. You know, come up to me, talk to me. We'll talk some toys. There's a gentleman there that uh, he was showing me these space toys he bought from the 60s. It was like a mad mason little astronaut bendy figure that was pretty cool and he bought like a store display as well so that was awesome uh who else vintage toy rush on instagram uh met him really quick in passing i was making the toy deal uh one of the booths he said what's up so that was pretty cool and then everybody else like i said came up to me and say they enjoy the videos thanks again man you guys are the reason why i keep doing this uh like sharing uh, all this stuff with everybody uh it's a cool fun hobby and yeah like everybody the toy show knows it, it's fun yeah well let's get to the pickups i didn't go crazy this time at the last glendale show uh, i went kind of nuts there with some play sets and figures uh, we'll start off really quick here one of the booths oh and also it was cool seeing old friends like tony from toys of the universe he was there set up uh go check out toys of the universe and torrens is an awesome uh toy store Kevin Persine Art, an amazing uh, just selection of kaiju toys and Japanese toys if you're into that. And, uh, had some crazy stuff there at this booth. Uh, Astro Base Zero as well. He's there. He has a toy booth set up at uh, Toy Depot in Whittier. Uh, he told me that's a store I should visit and a few other people have told me the same thing. I should check out Toy Depot. So I might have to do that pretty soon. I'll make a little road trip down. To Whittier and check out that store uh, but we'll start with some of the pickups really quick I picked 
these guys up from Secret Wars. I already have these. Uh, forget the guy's name. He's was set up there with like Astro Base Zero and Toys of the Universe and stuff. Uh, but I kind of I'm not actively trying to seek out like the shields. I don't care. I just want the figures. But he kind of they were there and he gave me a good deal, so I took it. Grab the shields. And then this pack also has a little pack of shields. Uh, so it's cool. So I'm going to keep the shields and then I'll probably maybe use the figures to, <coughs> to trade or sell. And then this particular shield right here is not from Secret Wars. But I knew it kind of looked familiar. And that is because I recently picked up a Supernatural figure carded. And that's the weapon right there for this guy, Bernhardt. Yeah, because I knew it looked familiar, and then it had like a like a hologram. Kind of hard to tell there in the bag, you know, with the light. But like I said, I knew it looked familiar, and then it belongs to this guy. So I might have to like flip this one or something to see if somebody needs a shield for a loose figure. So that's pretty cool. This next one was a total, total impulse. I'm a fan of the Universal Monsters, and then I had this old man selling some antique toys and he had these on his table they're like little candies with the universal monsters on them i thought it was pretty cool total impulse buy but as the, the candies are still inside i just think it's a cool little display piece especially uh you know collecting universal monsters so that's a pretty cool little pickup you know nothing crazy this next pickup i got from astro base zero at his booth here he goes astro base zero give give him a follow guys on instagram he had a lot of cool stuff he had a lot of carded turtles i was trust me i was interested in those turtles but uh, maybe next time maybe next time he had some good ones i had that, that mini krang he had on there that was cool uh but he had this that caught my attention i love the secret wars and i like picking up all the crazy little weird side uh merch they did for it but this is a cool little puffy sticker set and it comes with a sticker album as well i want to know what stickers are underneath that sticker album but this one i'll keep in the package because it just looks it looks nice in the package and then the back is cool too this cross cell artwork right here this is awesome it's pretty cool you got dr doom you got magneto I'm wondering if those are some of the stickers. There might be those stickers because there's Magneto right there is the same as that one. They got Doc, a little Doc Ock head right there. That's that's funny. It's a little tiny head. So yeah, so there's probably like a Doctor the Doctor Doom is probably behind the sticker album. And the Iron Man. So yeah, this is a pretty cool pickup right here. I'll definitely go with my. Oh, you can't really see them but they're right there my secret wars so this is pretty cool i like this pickup right here all these pickups coming up right here i got from the same vendor he had a whole bunch of different items on his table he had like superman pretzels which is funny and what else he has a whole bunch of mixed things but he had this cool little return of the jedi card game set i think it was like six bucks it's a little ripped on top but it's sealed I think the box looks cool. The artwork on the box looks awesome. And like I said, all the cards inside are sealed. I probably am gonna open this, probably play play the game, see how fun it is on like family board game night or whatever. You see the cards are still sealed. Seems interesting enough. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that's funny. It's a trap! Yeah, so that's the Return of the Jedi card game. And there's some instructions in there as well. So all this was from the same booth. And I got a Flint Stones Kids KV Jr. figure. This is one of the uncommon ones. I already have them loose, but I did not have his little uh, vehicle there, little, what is that supposed to be? Some kind of like a snapping turtle. Uh, the figure alone goes for like 35 bucks, so I'll probably sell my loose one and then then I have this one will be paid off so it'll be pretty cool KV Jr. right here 
I like I like this Flintstones kids collection. Man, it's awesome. There's a few that I'm missing. Not many, but yeah, like I said, this is a fun set right here. I also picked up all these posters. Like I said, all from the same guy. These are all vintage posters. This is a Punisher poster. They're all like $10 a piece. It's, uh, brand new too. I just, I don't know what this one looks like. It's from 1986. You can see some crates there. And a gun. So I might, if I get a chance, I'll unroll it just to see what it looks like. Or maybe I'll check out eBay, see if there's anyone selling the posters that look, that look similar to this. But yeah, that's cool. These, I don't know, I'm gonna keep these. I might, no, no lie guys, I might have to flip some of these like this X-Men women poster. It was $10 from 84. I see this one I've seen, they're like, uh, was it Storm, Kitty Pride, and Rogue. They're in the bathing suits in the swimming pool. That's cool. Like, I think some people were uh, asking like 40, 50 bucks for these. It was pretty cool. It'll be probably a cool, cool little flip. This is a Spider Man poster. It says Spider Man, old and new. So I'll see if I can find one. Uh, an image of this poster so I don't have to take it out again it's vintage and sealed this one's from 84 and then this one this is a Star Tours Star Wars Star Tours poster Tatooine it says so I think I think I saw some of these online where they're showing like a, like a picture of the Star Wars lands and it's for the Star Tours ride because when you go on that ride you go to all the different Star Wars lands uh, so this is one as is advertising like Tatooine. So that's uh, pretty cool. I might keep this one though. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm on the fence. I'm a big Star Wars guy. I like this. Uh, and the best thing of all this was the vendor asked if I would like a bag for the stuff. I said, yeah, of course I'll take a bag. And he put everything in this bag right here, guys. A gigantic Toys R Us bag. So that was pretty cool. I'm definitely keeping this bag. Just makes you miss it even more. Makes you miss Toys R Us even more. Toys R Us, why? Why'd you leave us, Jeffrey? This next pickup, another impulse buy. I mean, I guess you call all the pickups an impulse buy, right? Don't really need any of it, but it's cool to have. And that's our hobby, that's what we collect. Uh, this one especially, because this is a store display uh, for Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2. This is for a fast food restaurant called Hardee's, which here in the West Coast or California, it's Carl's Jr. And I know, I think everywhere else, it's Hardee's. It's like a burger joint. Uh, this is for Ghostbusters 2. When they had the kids meals, the guy selling this had has a whole bunch of cool stuff. So these are the, like the little Happy Meal toys, I guess, that came there. The Ectomobile. So it's pretty cool. I don't even know what they're supposed to be. If you open this and there's food in there, I don't know. So you got that one and this one's like the proton pack or as they call it here that gigameter ghost detector so i just need to get some string hang them right there and then maybe hang it up somewhere this is pretty cool little pickup get a whole bunch of these in in a box just going through it trying to figure out there was a third one that went in the middle but that's all he had was these i tried to get another one of these out of them but he wouldn't budge but he did throw in this cool little uh, Kenner booklet. 
with Ghostbusters toys, which was pretty cool of him because he was selling these. He had some of these for sale. You can see there. Let's open it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's the Ghostbusters 2 hat. So, <coughs> so that's awesome. And then he also threw in one of the one of the Happy Meal toys for the Hardys. Don't know if it works. It has batteries, so it's probably dead. But it's a cool little display piece. It looks like uh, press the buttons in it. Had some kind of voice commands, I don't know. But yeah, this is a cool little pickup. I can't wait to set this up and hang it somewhere up here in the toy room. Find out where, but it's cool. Uh, if I do, I'll probably take some pictures on Instagram or something. So follow me on Instagram, that's all Cal Shaolin. And for my final pickup, it was this right here, the Dick Tracy Big Boys Getaway car. This is an awesome old school car, check it out. And the artwork is awesome on it. This is amazing right here. Check out how happy that kid is right there. But it's cool, even comes with like bullet holes on the side, little mini comment right there. So this is cool. Uh, these toys are awesome. I, like, I love the Dick Tracy figures. I have about probably half of them. I know the blank, that's like the really rare one. Uh, it goes for a few thousand probably. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool car. Mint sealed. And the guy told me he had like a whole box of these at home, which is crazy. And I know there's a police car as well uh, for this set right here. Uh, but very cool to add this to the collection the dick tracy getaway car the bad guys need a vehicle too right yeah this is a cool this is a cool one right here extra, extra, downtown hold up in progress a police squad car is on the way with dick tracy himself at the wheel suddenly big boys getaway sedan speeds past them going the other way the police car turns in hot pursuit and tracy uses the siren to clear the streets of innocent citizens Sure enough, it sounds like machine gun fire is coming from the getaway vehicle. How will Dick Tracy stop them now? Find out next time. Dick Tracy! From Planets. That's going to do it for today's video. It was a fun time at the Glendale Toy Show. I know Mario and Vince, they are excited to go back to the next one. And it's in August. And I am myself, man. It's a fun toy show. We don't have that many toy shows here in in the Southern California area, we have a lot of conventions, which it's not the same thing, uh, but like a full dedicated toy show. Uh, I don't know if there's any other ones. Uh, if you live around here and you know if there's any other ones, even small ones, uh, hit me up, let me know. Uh, but yeah, the Glenda Toy Show, can't wait to be back August for the next one. It was a fun, fun show. Everybody uh, that I met at the show, uh, thanks again for supporting the channel. Uh, hope you continue enjoy the videos and keep making them you know they're fun i'm gonna still make them regardless but they're they're fun uh, thanks for watching guys and uh coming along this toy hunting journey with me man it's fun sharing the hobby with you guys i love hearing what all you guys are collecting as well because we all collect different things uh but again thank you and don't forget to leave those comments down below let me hear what you guys are picking up in your toy hunts i'm so and i'll catch you on the next hunt i am out Thank <laughs> you.